Um, I'm Waddy Gedroich. I'm a radiologist from St Mary's Hospital in London and I also work at Imperial College London. We're currently doing a pilot feasibility and safety and early efficacy study of treating the facet joints with MR guided focused ultrasound. H how many people suffer from facet joint disease? Very hard to tell actually. Chronic back pain is such a large mishmash of so many pathologies that um, trying to pick out the exact incidence of facet joint problems from within that is problematic. It's not common for young, slim people to have significant facet joint disease. Usually it's an age and weight related phenomenon. Not inevitably, but usually. One of the big, big problems with facet joints is that people are often treated for facet disease when they may have other problems with the back. In this particular study that we've been doing, we have been very careful to only recruit patients who have demonstrated a definite response to a previous facet intervention. And by a facet intervention, I mean something like a, a local anesthetic or steroid injection close to the facet joint, or a, a joint injection of steroids, or possibly a radiofrequency ablation of the nerves around there. And if they have responded positively and then recurred, then we recruit. So we have now treated 17 patients out of a possible 25 that we had aimed to do in this initial study. We simply heat up the facet joints with focused ultrasound in a non-invasive manner so that we heat and hopefully destroy the nerve bundles along the posterior aspect of the facet joint because it's these nerve bundles we believe that are instrumental in causing pain from facet joint disease in the larger sphere of chronic back pain. The follow-up that we have is very promising with up to 60% reduction in pain and similar level of improvement of disability when we measure them with um, a variety of questionnaires. The next step is to carry out a randomized controlled trial of the focused ultrasound non-invasive method against the next best gold standard for the treatment of facet joints, which is usually radiofrequency ablation of facet joints. If these trials are successful, it means that we will have created a method of treating facet joints with an entirely non-invasive modality. No radiation will be involved, just an MR scan using focused ultrasound. So the patient would come in, lie down on the table, we would treat probably three facet joints on each side and they would walk out. And we anticipate that we could do this in about half an hour or so. If it is long lasting, then we have a huge potential for improving the way patients are treated, requiring no more injections. We can do as much as we can by, by publicizing our results and showing it to the scientific community and around the um, groups who are interested in chronic back pain, but it will also require patients to put pressure on across the full range of those people involved in this therapy to make this new option for them a success. We need patients in the future to basically push for this treatment to become available to them. We would require them to put pressure on regulatory authorities, manufacturers, physicians, everyone involved in the field to make this type of therapy available.